What's up, Paladins fans? I hold shift, and this is what's rage-worthy for North America in week four, day number two. Renegades would have the double header, and again, if you remember back to when we were talking about Renegades and Splice and what needed to happen for each team, Renegades needed to run away with today. At least in some fashion, they needed to beat up SK, they needed to have a close set versus G2. Neither of those things would happen. They started the day off versus G2, and it was the fastest set in Paladins history. Maybe. I don't know. I, it felt like it. Three games, all of which were 4 0s. G2 absolutely had their way with Renegades. Renegades didn't even look like they woke up to play Paladins today. They might as well have played Smite. Maybe they would have done better. <laughs> and then they played up against, well, SK. And they needed this one to go well. Because of the map differential between Splice and Renegades, if they could have found a way to open this thing up and make it an easy 3 0 they would have been in a more, much more demanding spot for that number three spot. However, that was not the case as this one went a full five games. SK having won the first game in very convincing fashion. 4-1, it looked like it was going to be a total rue of the day. That SK was just going to run away with it. Not the case, though. It would be 4-3 for Renegades on Serpent Beach. A very close game, actually, to be completely honest, in that one. Game number two. And then a 4-1 on Bright Marsh for Renegades before SK would steal away. Splitstone literally stole it away. Renegades was all there. They just didn't touch the point. And then the final map. Well, okay. Renegades is the better team, so they won. 4-2 was on Ice Mines. It was a total of 3-2. But still, the standings are very close. And there has been a little bit of phenomenon happening over this week so far, both in the first day of EU and the first day of NA. Makoa's getting played. He is escaping the draft and coming out to play pretty often. He was played, oh, more often than not today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the uh, of the eight games. So he only didn't see him once, which is really, really interesting to see. And in the EU is the same thing as well. He's just not being banned. There's a lot of reasons that this could be happening. Number one, his win rate has not been that great when he was played, mostly because it's one of those characters that if you have him, you better capitalize on him. You better hit those hooks. You better follow up with kills. And to be honest, we haven't seen McCoa in so long. It kind of feels like all of the frontliners and these mediocre PPL teams forgot how to play McCoa. It's like, well, we got to worry about playing an R. We got to worry about playing Ash, Barrick. Oh, McCoa's open. It's like almost like a complete jolt and a surprise. So. He picks going forward. You got to take a look at that Makoa. You got to be thinking that these PPO players, they have to show up. If you pick Makoa, you have to be the playmaker on your team. That was not so much the case today. Uh, at least not for SK. When it came down to it. It was for G2. They played him twice and they looked good on him both times. Speaking of G2, before we go, I Drop Bodies is back. Welcome back, my friend. And a lot of uh, consideration on my personal end was, well, do you really put bodies back in considering that Flame has played so well? You've had three weeks with him. The answer today was definitively yes. <laughs> I dropped bodies, dropped all over Renegades. He looked like an unstoppable madman, which is sometimes the way it go. But if it's not the way it go, I, I'll still say it. Bodies, I love you. But he, he's a super hot and cold player. If he doesn't show up, do you just keep Flame on six reserve just in case? I don't know. We'll see. They get to play up against Envy. G2 does here in the near future. Renegades have a very crucial week coming up, uh, day rather, on Thursday. But we still have to see Virtus Pro and what they possibly could bring to the table tomorrow. That's what I'm excited for. I've been shipped, and that's been what's rage worthy. Catch you then. Bye bye.